Uh, yeah. You like the salt? Uh, oh. Come on, you yeah. <laughs> Leaving the hotel about 7.15 a.m. I um, wanted to leave at 6 a.m. but I just needed the extra hour of sleep. So now I'm gonna go up to this gas station, which seems closed, of course, because nothing opens here until nine in the morning. I got a little bit of freeze-dried food, some chocolate and some granola bars, and that's gonna last me until I get to the um, refugio something, something. On the way down to Gondo, the thunderstorm soaked all my stuff. I thought my pack was waterproof. It's not waterproof. And the bottom of my pack was pretty soaked. So when I get to the next refuge, I've got to pull everything out again and uh, dry it out. So when I get back home, I'm gonna go talk to REI about maybe getting a replacement for this backpack or something, because I was really disappointed. I have no idea what this is, but it's really old. Morning stories turn to page and now the day's begun. Silly voices bring to life the characters you want. It's like my bitter world will be fine for a while. So I've crossed over into Italy. It took me, it's 11.15 right now. It's taken me about four hours to get to this point. And um, if I tried this last night, even if I had gotten into Gondo at like three or four, it could have been a disaster because that trail up to this point was really steep and there were places where the trail was moderately thin, not super thin to where I felt like I could shoot off a cliff, but there were places where they put in steel cable so that you could hold on and some pretty steep places where if you slipped, you might shoot down a ways. Um, and last night it would have been even wetter and I would have been more fatigued. So it was definitely a good decision to stop in Gondo and just rest, get something to eat, dry out my stuff. Anyway, I'm headed to the Rifugio di Arona right now, uh, about a mile back. I asked a farmer directions in Italian. Last year I've been studying Italian and it all paid off. You laugh, I come alive. I'll be that old old tree whose branches will hold you while you swing. I'll be that mountain peak that you can stand upon it. Watch the world beneath Oh my child Oh my child Oh my son Oh my child Oh my child You alone howling out there. I'm glad that I am in here and not out in a tent. Okay, if I take a video? Yep. Yeah. Hello! Take me back to yesterday when you were small I will always be right there to catch you like when you fall 
I thought he was gonna butt me off the cliff. <laughs> and when you cry, I'll pick you up and hold you close till it's alright. And when you smile, I come alive. I'll be that old old tree branches will hold you while you swing Apparently the trail goes right through that, uh, that guy's um, cattle ranch. So I asked the boy down there and he's just lifted up the gate and he said go this way. <laughs> so I walked through a big herd of cattle but at least I'm back on track. So today has been a really long day. I started at the refuge, um, the Arona in Alpevelia at 7 a.m. with a mother and daughter from Belgium who were going to uh, Alpedebro and they were gonna stay at the Castiglione refuge. And Lorenzo, the innkeeper, at Arona asked me if I could stick with them for a while so that they could stay on track and stay off dangerous trail. It was nice hiking with the mother and daughter and it was something special for them. So uh, without my help, I think they would have not done it and the daughter would have been really disappointed because she wanted to do an adventure with her mom. So it was really cool. Anyway, got their contact info. I'm gonna send them some pictures. They're gonna send me some pictures. I left a note at the refuge, letting them know that I was going on. So hopefully I'll hear from them again once I have cell phone service. Now I'm kind of rushing to get to the next refuge, the um, uh, Margaroli, about three hours ago when I got into um, Rifugio Castiglione. I asked the guy to call ahead and get me a bed and have them prepare a, um, you know, have a late dinner so that I wouldn't come in and have nothing to eat. Behold, Il Rifugio Margaroli. Hope they have good food. Buonasera. Buonasera. 